Hey there, family. This is the most high sauce of prayer, praise, and peace. Back again with more words from the most high that we may grow thereby. Hallelujah. 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 What a blessing. What a day. Hallelujah. What a day of rejoicing is going to be no matter what. Hallelujah. In everything, give Give thanks. thanks for this is the will hallelujah of him that called you out of darkness into his marvelous light hallelujah family we thank and praise the most high again for this time for this very precious moment in this very precious opportunity because somebody somewhere didn't make it to this point in time and we are grateful hallelujah we are grateful again and thankful and thankful yes mommy to utter a word of praise to the father hallelujah and try to utter some words of encouragement to you family hallelujah yes. hallelujah as you can see hallelujah here follow our father i thought about that and that's the most high was landed on our hearts we we used to play this game back in the day it was um you know follow the leader and whatever that leader did you did you know did exactly what they did and Wherever you know sometimes went, you, went. you went and then you know some of us who know a little bit about basketball you played horse that means you had to mimic whatever shot that person did and you had to come back and make it and whoever missed you know you had to spell the word horse or you know the old games you know mother may I you know come on now Simon says, Simon says and if your name starts with this and it has that letter can I take a step or whatever it may be but you think about those games back then they amounted to uh, let me see absolutely nothing it just occupied some time that's all it did it it may have Mm -hmm. talked you a little teamwork and some of it was even selfish when you look at it but it was always trying to mimic somebody else and hallelujah who do we need to emulate and to mimic and to be like we need to follow our Our father Father. come on family you know to to emulate my brother is fine to imitate Mm -hmm. my sister is fine but i would rather be more like the father Mm. hallelujah Mm. because i know that my brother and sister they are fallible is that another john p key that's another job we just can't (laughs) Keep getting off the job. Come on, mommy. So y'all yeah. know what we listen to sometimes and what we've listened to back in the day, just by our conversation and by what we say. Come on, family. But but you you, you say this, you talk about your family and your sisters and your brothers and different things we know that each one of us are fallible we know that we've got some some things going on in our mind and we make mistakes every single day Mm -hmm. but we have an example that the most high has said he said it in his word hallelujah everything is not just in there like you're what you exactly what you need to do that's when you know that you need to walk in the spirit and let the spirit leading guide you as you follow the father come on Mm -hmm. family we gonna get into this lesson and we want to encourage somebody today hallelujah to follow the father don't look to man like you think you should you're gonna have some reliance on man because that's just the way things are set up. But mm-hmm. your ultimate trust, your ultimate anchor ought to be in Yahushua HaMashiach. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. Go ahead, Yafa. Then what? What then? Notwithstanding every way, rather in pretense or in tr- truth. Am I close enough? Yeah, you're fine. Mashiach is preached. And I therein do rejoice. Yes. Yea, and will rejoice. Come on now. For I know that this shall turn to my salvation through your prayer and the supply of the spirit of Yahusha HaMashiach. Mm, Come on, family. Come on now. According to my earnest expectation and my hope, that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but that with all 
boldness as always, so now also Mashiach shall be magnified in my body, rather it be by life or by death. Hallelujah. When, when, when you look at this and you look at what, <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me, family, you take this. Now, we've been in contact or just, you know, just throughout life and throughout our our everyday you know, not every day, but in times past, we've talked to individuals who just, you know, kind of want to check out and they look at situations, they look at their lives and they they add this up and they add that up and they see where they've come short in so many areas of their lives. And then when you try to point out to them how they've made way in a certain area, it seems as though the the bad just outweigh the good. But when you try to explain to them, you try to talk to them and let them know that the reason you're breathing even right now is so you have a chance. And so you can utter a word out of your mouth and you're talking to us right now mm -hmm. or talking to whomever you, you, they may even be talking to you and somebody may be having those types of thoughts and ideas, but you're in that position. The most high allowed you at that specific time to hear what they're saying so you can go into immediate prayer. Yes. And sometimes we don't have the perfect words or the perfect phrase to say, but with our inside, even when we don't know what to say, the Ruach is groaning down on the inside of us. Yes. Hallelujah, praying for that individual and to let them know like, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute now. Let, let's just sit back and let's, let's think about what you're thinking about. Mm -hmm. And why is it so that you need to, you, you feeling things ain't working the way you feel they need to work? Hallelujah, we are not, and I'm, I'm learning this every day, family. We ain't gonna get everything we want every time we think about it when we ask for it. And even when we wish for it, come on now, family, yeah. watch out now. Mm -hmm. It's just not gonna happen. But w when times come, even days to day, things that are happening, things that are going on in life and how people take things in different ways you may see a situation and you may oh that's that's just but a light thing but the next person may see wow this is the thing that may take them out mm -hmm. and you're looking you say wait a minute what are you talking about that's mm -hmm. not going to take you out no. that's just a test, test. Yes. It's just something to come to to buffet you a little bit so you can get that much more closer mm -hmm. to the most high and, and you, you begin to reason with that individual. You begin to talk to them and say, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. The most high is giving you breath in your body to even complain right now. And this is what you're going to come out when even when you know that that complaining is not going to get you anywhere yes we got to get things off of our chest yes we got to vent and we got to let it go and we got to burst and sometimes we got to go holler and we got to go scream and we got to go jump up and down and say why me why me why me mm -hmm. yes sometimes it's going to be why me and you're going to wonder you're going to say father what have i done for this to come upon me at this particular time. And his word comes and lets you know that all things work, work together, together. Yeah. for the good of them who love him and who are the called according to his purpose. He's letting us know. And at the same time, you are not the only one that's feeling yes. that way. At any given time, somebody's figuring out, hey, wait a minute. It's just this and it's only me and this. No, I'm here to let you know no, you ain't the, the only, only one. one. Not at all. <laughs> oh, and the no. word says to get angry, but sin not. So even when we going through things, we have to stop and remember our words. Like, don't just go blah, blah, blah. It's okay to go out there, you know, and 
you know, in your backyard, if you can, or your basement or your secret place, you know, where you meditate and just scream it out, you know, breathe it out and get it out. Cry out to, to the most high. I've had nights where I had to wake up in the middle of the night crying out to the most high, get them ugly tears, that ugly cry on out and, you know, go ahead on, but don't sin. Do not say words or do things that it's going to cause you to sin and go, you know, where be, you know, judged by the most high. Be careful in our actions and in our words. Most definitely, you know, when you when you look at it, when you ponder on it, family, you say this. We have to. We've said it before. We've got to watch everything that comes out of our mouths. And a lot of times we we speak those things. Yes, granted, we may be going through a a, a certain situation. We it may be weighing us almost almost completely down and in our mind that's the way we look at it like how can i ever get out of this particular situation when we say that where is our faith yes where is our belief in knowing that hey wait a minute i've been called by you father you knew exactly this moment when this moment was going to come and you knew exactly what was going to come out of my mouth because I have to give an account for the things that I utter out of my mouth. So armed with that information and with that knowledge and that wisdom, even when I'm angry and I think about it, and I'm like, this ain't fair at all. Ain't no way, shape, form, or fashion is this fair because ain't nobody else dealing with what I'm dealing with right now. I'm here to let you know, yes, somebody is. But when he tells you the words that come out of your mouth that you have to give an account for, you need to go back and let the spirit lead you and guide you in his word to give you the words to say in that situation because you may see a dark valley but hallelujah there's no darkness in the most high at all there's only light so if you are part of him and if you belong to him and you are his child although we may see that darkness by faith and by what he has promised he has already brought us out of that particular situation yes. in the way even if you take it and you belong to him hallelujah even in death you belong to him your bed and your life and where you will spend eternity will be with the most high. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Because when we look at situations and we see situations, the most high is saying it ain't but a light thing to me. Mm -hmm. Yes, our mortal flesh and our bodies and different things like that, the way we look at it, like hey, there's no way that I can handle this. But yet and still, you were ever you were able to utter the words and say you couldn't. So there it is again. Stop saying some stupid stuff sometimes. And I'm talking to myself, brother. Stop saying stupid stuff sometimes and speak what the most high has placed in our minds and in our hearts in his word. He's filled us with his spirit. So we're able to utter that word of thanksgiving, utter that word of praise, utter, the, utter that word of father. I know you are my father. I want to take it personal right now. I want to take it like ain't nobody else around. I belong to you. Yes. And it is your responsibility to take care of me. And I'm going to lean on that because when I lean on myself and I try to do things my way, hallelujah, they don't turn out right. They don't no. turn out the best way that they're supposed to. Hallelujah. In fact, sometimes they just utterly fail. You know, mm -hmm. hallelujah. Family, we, we, we got to keep keep speaking that life. Keep speaking that love. Keep speaking. Oh, although I see a situation, although I don't like this situation, I know what the word is telling me i know that the word is telling me i am more than a conqueror 
Yes. I know the word is telling me that I am victorious. I know the word is telling me that I have a home up with the father. I know the word is telling me I have brought you. I have made you. I have formed you. I, 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 I put you with this dust and everything made you out of the dust and showed you that you are mine. I breathe the breath of life inside of you. And I called you by name. I made you a special people unto me. So you ride and rest and drive with that. And that'll be your encouragement. You keep on doing that and keep on going back to it. Because usually a lot of times, the most times is when we fall into those situations and all these things and coming upon us and different things like that. And we cry, the woe is me. Is because we have not dug in the word the way the most high has put on our hearts. We've pushed that aside. We have found a way to uh, uh, make up excuses and we found a way to give the enemy some room because soon as that soon as you get to put that Bible up in front of your face, those little sleepy eyes start mm -hmm. coming. You get sleepy, really. get all sleepy. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, that's the trick of the enemy because if your favorite show was on, watch out now. Come on now, you, you would be able to stay up. You know what I mean? But what I'm saying is this dig in his word so you can know who you are and again, whose you are and what you should do in a given situation. Hallelujah. Go ahead, mommy. For to me to live in Mashiach. For to me to live is Mashiach. And to die is gain. But if I live in the flesh, this is the fruit of my labor. Yet what shall I choose? I won't not. For I am in a strait betwixt two. Having a desire to depart and to be with Mashiach. Which is better? You know, family, when, when you when you look at this and you look about what he was saying, a straight betwixt two. Sometimes in life, sometimes in situations, and and as we go through, and the older that we are, you know, us being, um, you know, thirty five right now, uh -huh. and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, fam, quit uh -huh. playing now. Um, we we find ourselves in in different roads and I don't want to say that that particular word but mm -hmm. we find ourselves on different streets we we'll put it like that and we have a decision to make mm -hmm. or we have situations or circumstances in front of us and we look at those circumstances and we say oh well you know I I, I can do this or I can do that or some of them may even seem to be impossible to even conquer but what is he saying? I am more than a conqueror. conqueror. Yes. Having to the, the, the desire to do this and the desire to do that and not knowing what to do, especially when it seems like all has fallen mm -hmm. and you don't know which direction Russian you should down. go in. Mm -mm. Come on, family. And you're looking at it and you're saying, how can I ever get out of this? Or when is this particular thing going to pass or fall away? Because it seems to be repeating itself or it just doesn't end. Come on, family. Hallelujah. When you are in that position, the most high is letting you know that in that you have to depend on him because it's not all about what we see. It's not all about what we touch, taste and feel. It's about what he promised us in his word because he said he's not slack concerning his promise. So what did he promise? Hallelujah. What did he promise you? I don't know what he promised you. Or have you even sought to find out exactly what he has for you? Mm -hmm. 
Are you seeking him? Are we seeking him the way that he needs to be sought? Are we falling down and bowing down before him and giving him the praise that he deserves? He dwells in the midst of praises. Hallelujah. Are we diligently seeking him? Or are we just talking about the problem? Are we just talking about what we're going through and what we seem and what we say is just so unfair? And I'm, I'm hey family. Uh, we uh, we going to always say it. we keeping it all the way to the real. We've asked these exact same questions like, Father, how much more? Mm-hmm. How much more? Oh, Father, how much more can we take? And when we go back and when we get over ourselves, I'm just talking about Yafa and myself. When we get over ourselves yes. and we go back to the word and we go back to believing mm-hmm. in what he said, then that's when the situation is just worked out. And we look back on it and we like, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. You brought us out at that particular time. We know that you're able to do it again. So that's what we rest on. We 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 go on that. You think you think about what our four parents did and how they just went round around in the wilderness. And, and again, this is our example. So that that's going to hit every single time and how they set up there and wanted water. And know that they're in this desert place, knowing things are going on and everything. And yet and still, that unbelief was just there. It was just there. After all the most I had just brought them out of. After what he just brought them out of. And you you go back to this. When those plagues were there, Goshen sitting right in the middle of Egypt, right there. It was a good part, if you will. There were flies on one side and we, we've made this analogy before flies and, and different things on one side, but not one fly was over on those, those side on the other side with them in Goshen. And we've seen, well, it rains on one side of the road and not on the other side of the road. Mm-hmm. We've seen the miracles of the most high. Yeah. We've seen the things that he's done for us and things that he's done for others. He's done it for others. You know, he's able to do it for you. It's just when his time comes, hallelujah, that's when he's going to bring it to pass. We are wholly believing in what his word says. Hallelujah. So when we're going through things, you are, we have to go back to our remembrance and remember the things that he has done for us and the things that he has already brought us through. And that should encourage us to know that he's going to, that this too shall pass. And that he's going to bring us out again and again and again, you yeah, know. Definitely, we 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 have to follow the Father. Yes. What follow direction? Our Father. Ooh, come on now. What direction is he going in? What is he saying? And I, I, if you don't know what he's saying, then you need to find out in what he's word. saying. Yep. In his word. Seek Fo- him. That's it, mommy. That is it. You know, follow him. What is he saying? What is he speaking to you? What is he Mm -hmm. showing you? And again, you would family. He takes so many things, so many things to father. I I look at this. Well, thank you, father. How he does when he speaks to us through different things and through different people. Mm -hmm. We don't know what's going to happen in Mm -hmm. any given situation. When you walk outside today, we don't we don't know what's going to happen. But before we do it, I'm going to come out with a praise before I go out. I'm going to have a praise on my lips and I'm going to say, thank you, Father. And I'm going to give him the glory for doing that for me. You, You think about too how where. Uh, um, <clears throat> excuse me. As you walk, think about how we don't ever like if you go outside and you're walking on the ground. Most people, I'm not going to say everybody, but most people, we don't think about the ground giving out on us. We just take a step and we keep on walking and keep on going. We never mm-hmm. think about that. And it's just it's just an action that we do. How much more faith and trust can we put in the most high mm-hmm. and we put all the faith and trust in the ground up under us and not we don't know what's up under the ground you could no. cave they've had sinkholes here and there sinkholes left and right we don't know you don't know what where when why or how 
but yet and still we walk on it yet and still we drive on it we just drive on our merry way and we get on there and we get on the freeway and we put that cruise control on watch out family Mm -hmm. we put that on and then we get to driving and we never give thought of it given out from up under us it's not just something that we do but how about we act like that with the most, most high. high yes Hallelujah. like father i don't have a doubt that you've already mm, worked this out, out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> come yeah. on now yeah i know there's been sinkholes that have happened Ooh. and a uh, matter of fact um uh, years ago the one sinkhole where the young man was i think it was florida he was laying in his bed and um that sinkhole swallowed him up in from his bed and through his bedroom floor and all the way through the ground. I don't think they ever found that young man, to my understanding, to this day. Well, you know, that sinkhole, they literally said on the news the other day, the sinkhole that opened up with that young man has reopened. Mm, watch yes, out. Yes, literally you. just reopened some, for some reason. But, yeah, that young man, that person is gone. And the same thing with the roads. There was a bridge, a big bridge, I think, in Philadelphia or some one of them. And I'm sure you guys have seen it on the news. Um, major bridge collapsed over a, a freeway or a highway um, about a month or so ago. And um, they fixed that quickly. But still, it was the fact. Those people were just driving, you know, like my husband said, as usual, pretty much. And not expecting that. But it was as if, you know, they were just driving and, and going about their life by faith, you know, which is what how we should do. In the most high, just walk by faith, you know? That's it. That's Every it. day. Every day. Go ahead, mommy. Okay. Uh, For I am in a strait betwixt two, having a desire to depart and to be with Mashiach, which is far, which is far better to be with Mashiach. Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. And having this confidence, I know that I shall abide and continue with you all for your furtherance and joy of faith, that your rejoicing may be more abundant in Yahusha HaMashiach for me by my coming to you again hallelujah family we are so grateful for this so Mm -hmm. grateful for excuse me for this word but following the father following him Mm -hmm. excuse me and living and knowing exactly what he has for you and what he wants you to do And when we find ourselves in a straight betwixt two, (laughs) what what exactly should we do? We should lean on the father. We should follow, seek him, follow our father. What is his word telling us? It may not speak specifically to your situation, but nevertheless, there's something in there that the most high wants you to get out of that. And when it all boils down to the nitty to the gritty, if you will, it's about our belief. It's about our faith. How much trust are we putting in the most high? How much trust the trust that you that we are putting on that street that we drive on? That trust and faith needs to be a zillion, quadrillion times more with the Most High. So we need to follow him, family. We need to to know that he has already worked it out, even though we don't see a situation or we don't see that it's that it's complete right now. And we're still going through that particular thing right now. Trust and know that the Most High, he knows exactly who you are yeah he knows exactly what he's doing for you and to you to get you closer to him mm-hmm. so you can believe him we yes. love your family we hallelujah. want to encourage you go ahead and continue hallelujah to follow follow the most high yes and if you're enjoying the most high's house of prayer in yahushua hamashiach's name Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share. We love you all, family. Please stay encouraged. Hallelujah. And encourage someone else. 
Hallelujah.